Here is the beginning of the new eye. Uh, you know, we're always gonna do the under eye primer um, and the eyelid primer. So here we go. You wanna get a nice even coat and you wanna make sure you go way in the corner of your eye. Okay, so this is the look so far. Now we're going to take um, a darker shade. Remember how I say never, ever, ever put dark eyeshadow on? I mean, there's no never evers, but dark tends to make us look dark. Well, this is the new technique I'm showing. So this is kind of a palette I got. Uh, this is kind of a purpley palette. And this is called our crease for the beauty beginners right here. Well, we want the illusion that our eyes are opened a little more. So we're gonna fake a crease. Okay, here we go. I haven't done this a whole lot, so it's gonna be fun to do it with you. Uh, so I'm going to kind of, this time I am gonna kind of wind chill wiper it in. There's the dark look. As you know, with color, we have to have a contrast, dark and light. Okay, so I have faked my crease to make it higher than it really is, okay? Next, we're going to go in with a lighter color, which means a different brush. And we're going to go in the corner of our eye and then above, right below the brow bone. And I don't recommend the shimmery yet. So this is kind of a pale pink. This is kind of the pale pink color here. Okay, now we're gonna do eyeliner. Um, you know, I have a love-hate relationship with eyeliner. Uh, so I'm gonna do a two-part eyeliner. I'm going to use two different colors because we really want the open eye. Um, you know I like a gel. And remember, it's all about blending, which we'll do at the end. So I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs and I'm just going to go where the eyelashes are from here over. And I'm gonna accentuate over the iris because again, we want to make our eye look bigger. Here we go. Again, we'll clean it up. The next color I want to use is a brown. Um, and I am going to do it really just at the corner of my eye. I'm going to skip the kitten flick because I'm just not in the mood for the kitten flick. Are you ready? I went a little bit heavy, but we can always lighten up. Now we are going to do our mascara. Um, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna curl our lashes. Really be sure to clean this thing because you can take off eyelashes, um, which would counteract the whole point of you trying to make your eye look bigger. My eyelashes are terrible. And I think this really gives us a better look. Uh, this is, it looks white, but it's clear. It'll dry clear, so here we go. Can you see them? That they look kind of white? Now, here we go with my mascara and I'm going to really push it at the roots and then I kind of wiggle up. And again, I'm gonna to want to use maybe more coats than I normally did on this eye. And don't worry about goofing up because we will fix it. I do like to kitten flick the end of my eyelashes uh, because it makes me feel like I'm part of the party to do the kitten flick. So you can see how I try to make them go up and out a little more than uh, my eyelashes. And we'll go back and clean up all that mess. I use one side for my uh, eyebrows and the other for my mascara. See that little comb? So this help gets the, cl uh, the clumps off. And we've goofed. See all those little pieces? So 
instead of taking eye makeup remover, don't take eye makeup remover because it'll take off all the work we've done. We just want to take a little Q-tip and smudge my eyeliner. Okay, how are we doing so far? Now I'm going to take a third color and really go over the whole um, eyelid to um, kind of bring it all together. So I'm taking a look, kind of I'm mixing kind of two colors and I'm going to blend them both. Ooh, I've still got some more of that stuff on. The last step is to put our highlighter in the corner of our eye and right at the brow bone. And you'll be surprised how this works. Uh, and I prefer to use a liquid product. Right in the corner. All right, here's the difference. So I think it makes a pretty big difference. And obviously be sure you do your eyebrows well. And I mean, you really define them and you try to make, you can fudge the arch a little more right above here like I tried to do. Um, but it doesn't take that many more steps. Um, but I think it does make a pretty dramatic difference. What do you all think? Let me know, will ya?